Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have got my Brussels converted Traxxas Summit out with me. I'm traveling on vacation. I am in the beautiful state of Arizona. I'm actually tackling a pretty hard trail called, uh, I believe it's called Charlau Gap Trail. I might be pronouncing it wrong, but it's a pretty gnarly trail. And I just pulled off on the side of the trail, give my dog a quick break and bring out the summit. So this, of course, like I said, is brushless converted. It's running the system out of the E-Revo 2.0. Uh, I'll show it to you real quick. The VXL 6S ESC and the 2200 KV Valenian brushless motor out of the E-Revo 2.0. It's got some other goodies. The whole drivetrain has been beefed up. And also, this is going to be the very first test of the MIP drive shafts I installed last video. I have yet to test it. Uh, but these were pretty expensive, like 140 bucks or something. So this will be the first test. We're gonna run around 4S LiPo, so let me go ahead, get her hooked up, and we're gonna jump right in this video. Should be an epic, epic time. All powered up, time to rock and roll. Here we go. That second gear, all this unlocked. Oh, the summit's so much fun, and now with this brushless system, the wine that it makes, I uh, don't have a huge amount of space to really open her up, obviously. It's very, very rocky, but... Ooh, and tumble! I'm really crossing my fingers these MIP dry shafts hold up for the amount they cost. How about into some deeper water here? Some of don't care. Summit's floating, she's floating, boys. Oh no, tumble there. I gotta get to the other side and flip her. All right, got to the other side, flip the summit over. This is not going to be good for the bearings. Can we make it up there? Let me uh, put her in first gear, lock her up. Okay, all this locked up. I think the current is too strong. It's going to have to come through here. All right, got a carrier. We're not gonna make it up this. Yeah. Look at the summit, all-terrain machine. I think something might be slipping, but I'm just gonna ignore it. Oh, this is so much fun. Unlock the diffs, and let's do some more second speed bashing. I kind of want to bring the summit up on this rock and jump her off and just launch her into the creek. How cool would that be? Let's do that. Lock them up. See, as soon as you lock them up, then the summit is a rock climbing goat. All right, let me step down here. I'm going to unlock my diffs. I'm just gonna jump her off the side. Here we go.
You know what, guys? I totally forgot I haven't gotten a launch yet. Let's find a spot to do a launch. All right, this might be as good a spot as we're going to get. Let me get on the other side of her. Ready, get set, go! I got to put that on slow-mo. The suspension on the Summit is so plush. And I'm just rock bouncing, honestly. Watch out, Soph! Look at how good that suspension is. Look at how good that suspension is. And tumble. Get the summit flip back over. This is extreme durability testing of these dry shafts here. I'm not going easy on it. Some noise does not sound that reassuring there. That could be something within the diffs, hopefully not, but it's a possibility. First year, we're gonna go back in the water. It's like a submarine. Submarine. I don't know where that noise is coming from, but there's something going on. I can't get the summit back over to me. Grab her and save her. Ugh. Yeah, we got some type of clicking noise going on. Not sure what. Summit might be done, guys. We lost. Did we lose a rear dry shaft? Oh my gosh. We lost a rear dry shaft. One of the MIP dry shafts. Did that break? Oh, you know what happened, guys? It was not the dry shaft, but this is still going to be the end of our fun. Fortunately, this piece didn't fall out. The output. The output from the trans from the differential broke. So I'm sure that it was from all the rock bouncing I was doing with the diffs locked up. It did not break. It fortunately did not break the MIP drive shafts, but it broke the little output piece that comes out of the differential, which means I have to dig into that differential, but not until I get home. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead, give it a big like, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell and stay tuned for the next video. We'll be doing more testing with the, with the MIP drive shafts, so don't worry.